We've had uh, four returning starters that have uh, really put in a lot of work in the offseason, and they're just as hungry and determined to uh, get back on the court and to improve upon uh, the program's um, progress towards the top of the league. And uh, some great newcomers that are just as hungry and driven to uh, get us going. So uh, it's a great day at UIC, as always. Um, everyone's working hard. Everyone's focused on the common, co the common goal. And uh, that goal is to uh, win a Horizon League championship. And we're just staying in the process, making sure that uh, everyone is focused on the same page, on the same goals, and uh, making sure that we're all going in the same direction. And uh, that's been the, uh, the focus all off season and moving forward. Twelve of those uh, games were lost by five points or less. So that comes down to execution, comes down to, like I mentioned, defense, but also taking care of the basketball, valuing each possession. So if nothing else, that stat should really, um, you know, uh, stand out to tell you that you've got to value each possession, you've got to uh, execute at a high level, especially in our league, and you've got to be able to defend. You know, when the, all, when the shots aren't falling, you've got to be able to get stops, and that's going to be a focus for us. I would imagine with four returning starters, they're going to be the cornerstone of the team in order to make that transition, am I correct? Well, they're the first ones we look to because they've got a little bit more experience with hearing my voice, um, understanding the principles and the philosophy that we, that we work on and we live by every day. And uh, these guys have been around. They've all started a lot of games for us. And, um, you know, we, we look to them first for leadership, for examples, and uh, the uh, newcomers are all falling in line and following their lead, and um, I think uh, they've set a good example so far. When you when you recruit, especially among the public league, how hard is it when you consider the other major schools that are in the area? How hard is it to recruit some of those public league players? Well, it's always difficult. Uh, everyone's trying to get into Chicago. Everyone's trying to you know establish a little bit of a niche uh, within the city. But being a Chicago and born and raised, uh, I think I rely on my relationships more so than just, you know, rankings and uh, recruiting polls and things of that nature. Um, you know, we've got a certain aesthetic for what we look for in a player, and that might not be the same aesthetic for another school outside of the state or even within the small radius of Chicago. So, you know, we just try to go after kids that fit our profile and they help our program get to where we want it to be guys that are going to buy into our philosophy of uh, what we want to get done with uh, within the framework of UIC basketball. Gary, with the changes in the uh, travel schedule this year, um, you know, with the grind that you guys are going to have to go through with the traveling and the uh, classes and everything else, uh, how difficult do you think that will be um, both mentally and physically for you? Um, I think I'll be able to handle it. Um, coach is going to prepare a great game plan for us, and we, it's just on us to come out and execute it. Well, you know, Tony, I think that's a good question. A lot of things kind of come up when you take over a program that you may not have foreseen. Um, but I think for the most part, um, the, the biggest thing we had to overcome was just the culture of winning and, and putting that culture back in place. Um, you know, we had hardworking kids. I got to be honest, you know, when we got there, we didn't have kids that we had to uh, deal with with off court incidents, you know, no one going to jail, no one. You know, winding up on the front page of the paper, which was a blessing. Um, but within the framework of a mentality of winning, that's what we had to adjust and help these guys to understand that winning just doesn't take place when you step forward, foot on the basketball court. It takes place before you even get to the court. It's your frame of mind. It's how, how did your day go academically? Because if you fail a test, you're going to most likely take that on the court with you uh, to practice. You know, so are we prepared academically as well as are we living day to day the right way? Are we eating right? Are we living right? Are we doing the right things, getting our rest? And so just establishing uh, the culture of winning was the first thing we had to address. And then obviously we had to, you know, tweak this, the roster a little bit to tailor it towards more of the type of kids that we know will be successful within our structured program. And now we feel that we're getting to that point. You know, we feel like after only two recruiting classes, we're in a position now where we can really implement what we want to get accomplished as a program. So we're a lot 
you know, more comfortable in our skin right now. Yeah. And uh, obviously going into year three, and you want to be in that, in that mold uh, as a coach and as a program. And uh, we're excited about the next step. Absolutely. No, Tony, you, you hit it right on the money. And I, again, when you talk about, you know, the absence of, of a certain team, you know, what does that bring? Well, the first thing I think about is it brings opportunity. And that opportunity goes beyond wins and losses. It goes to the landscape of our league. And the biggest market within our league is the Chicago market. And being uh, one of the two uh, members of the league from Chicago, I want to be that team that becomes the face of the, of the uh, league. And so, you know, we feel that the first thing you have to do is you have to take care of your, in, your, your house. You know, make sure your house is clean, make sure, it, uh, you know, everything's in order there before you worry about the rest of the neighborhood. But our neighborhood is pretty good, and it's a strong neighborhood. And we feel that, you know, the brand that we bring uh, can be a very strong one because they've had success before, and it hasn't been that long ago. Where Coach Collins had those guys marching and, um, and, and dancing in March, uh, we're not far from there. And we just got to keep working and keep working the process. Uh, every day, and so you know, you're, you're right on the money when you when you mention how this market can really help the Horizon League grow, and um, you know we take that responsibility uh, very seriously, and uh, we take it on full heartedly. 